Hello everyone, today I'm bringing you a review of the Aki Aura 3-in-1 lens kit. It comes in this nice small little package here. And this is what you're going to get in the box. Get a nice little cloth bag, it's nice and soft, and in a, yes, in a pinch, you can use this to clean off the lens if you happen to get dust or fingerprints on it. You also get a nice cleaning cloth itself with the Aki branding and once again this is for cleaning off the lenses or the lens of your camera on your phone heck you can even use it to clean the screen of your phone if you want also inside the box you get a little instruction manual right there and then you get the clips and the lenses themselves the clips are very easy, they just slip on. There's a little rubber nib right here to protect your phone. And there's nothing here on this side right here. And I'll tell you why in a second. You do get two lens caps, one for each lens. And they just simply pull right on off. This lens is a fisheye lens and that's a 180 degree fisheye lens which is a full screen lens what that means is you don't get that uh, barreling effect or the black parts in the corners of your camera it's a full screen well i'll show you that in a moment too then the other lens well it's actually two in one is a macro lens which is a 10 time macro lens and a 110 degree wide angle lens and to get to the macro lens you just simply unscrew it there you go now the bodies of these lenses are made from aluminum alloy and you do have multi element glass in each lens and each lens is also coated to help minimize ghosting, reflections, and lens glare. You do get a 24-month product replacement warranty from Aki. And the Aki also offers you a 45-day money-back guarantee. The reason why, on the clip itself, this part here doesn't have any rubber on it, is because the lenses have the rubber on it. So when you slip it into your lens, just like that, there you go. You got the rubber already on both sides. You got it on the lens, plus right there. Now with any phone you have, a lot of these clip-on lenses were not designed to work with a case. Let me explain that. Even though this is nice and centered, you can still see a hole in there from my case because of the flash on it. That's one thing it's going to do is let light in. And that's not good picture taking. Secondly, it's offset a little bit. It's a little crooked because of that hole. So what you always want to do pretty much with any lens kit, take that off. And let me give you a better example of this. If I can, let me get the smaller one. See the hole there? See when I put the lens up to it, you see the light coming through? Right here on the right hand side? That's not good picture taking right there. So you really should take your cases off your phone. And setting this up is really easy. The hole is a really nice size, which will fit the camera. So once you actually get it on there, and slide it on you can pretty much feel it when it actually gets in there and that's it and like I said you can use that to clean off your lens or even this in a pinch you can use that and yes even with the clip it does fit in the bag just like that. Now it's hard to fit the secondary clip in there. So I would just use one clip at a time. And then there you go. 
nice little pouch to keep all your lenses in and dust and dirt free pretty much okay so let's take you outside and I'll show you this lens kit in action okay here is the Aki full screen fisheye lens as you can see you can see my garage here my whole yard the fence over there and we're gonna focus on that telephone pole right there in the corner because I am going to take this lens off so you can see the difference but first I'm gonna move it back and forth like this to see if there's any pixelation or anything from the sensor while using this lens and as you can see through the movement it doesn't really bother the lens that much at all and yes as you can tell it snowed we're due to possibly get eight inches of snow today which is Wednesday okay ready here we go I'm going to take off the lens so you can see the difference and that's the difference without the full screen fisheye lens I'm gonna put it back on once again so and then take it off again for another comparison okay once again here's the second comparison of the Aki full screen fisheye lens and I'm doing some panning to see if there's any blurring especially around the edges there and from what I can see I can't see anything alrighty once again pay attention to my garage that fence and that telephone pole right there because I'm taking the lens off right now and that's the normal view you get with the Nokia Lumia or the Microsoft Lumia 640 and that was the full screen fisheye lens from Aki. Now let's just try the wide screen or the wide angle. Be right back. Okay, here is the wide angle view of the lens with my Lumia 640. Notice the distance between that fence. And let me shift a little bit better here. So you see my garage here and the fence okay let me pan a little bit to give you an example if it's going to have any problems with the phone sensor or camera sensor all right now let me remove the lens and you can see the difference that is the difference all right let me put the lens back on one more time so you can see it for it once more alrighty here it is again with the wide angle lens on once more let me do some panning moving it around to see if there's any defects in the lens or if the phone won't handle it and get ready I'm about to remove the lens now and that is what it looks like without the wide angle lens on. Okay, now we're testing the macro lens. I'm going to show you the mortar between the bricks of my garage. Yeah, let's see, about two inches away from it now. Getting all the way, let's see how close we can get. Okay, that is probably about a quarter of an inch away. Let me back it up to about half an inch. And that's a half an inch away from the mortar. Let me move up to the brick. And yes, I did have to tap the focus. And let's see how far away we can go. And it's about, it starts about, for my phone anyway, it starts about an inch and half an inch 
would be about the closest I would say you can get with this lens with my phone. Let's try something else. Alrighty, here is a broken patio block that I need to replace. That's the broken part. And yeah, it even holds true with this. About an inch to about a half an inch away is my focal point for my phone. So your phone could be different. Alrighty, and what macro test wouldn't be complete without seeing my fence. You can see the moss. You can see the wood grain. And I am about a half an inch away. And there you go. There's the macro lens test. Hope you enjoyed this video. And until the next one, you have a fantastic day.